Yep. I'm Greg Blythe, and this is another edition of Whetstone Wars. Today, we have two of the people's champions. We have the Naniwa Professional Stone 5K, the Nuchisera, going up against the Shapton Kuramaku 5K. Let's get into it. On the dimensions of these two stones, they're both 270, oh, 210 millimeters in length. They're both 70 millimeters wide, but the Shapton is gonna run 15 millimeters thick, while the Naniwa Professional is gonna run 20 millimeters. But here's the hitch, the price. All right, so the Shapton, whoa. Go ahead and do a little close up for me, baby, on these two stones. Okay. The Shapton is gonna come in at $58 and eight cents being five millimeters thicker, thinner, five millimeters thinner, but the Naniwa is gonna come in at $80.99. So that's basically that's $23 difference to see who's gonna run the championship here. All right, so as you can see from the, from the slurry that's already on here, we, we went ahead and flattened these earlier today. We went ahead and sharpened both knives on the Sahiro Debato 1K. Both knives are Mortataka 210 millimeter super blue given to us by Tokushu Knife. Thank you, Tony, for sponsoring the show. So they are already prepped and ready to go. The stones are prepped and ready to go. We're gonna find out who's the champion at 5K. So we're gonna be jumping from 1,000 to 5,000, okay? We're gonna get that apex and we're gonna do edge leading strokes to deburr. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a feel. Then, if I need to put it on just some leather to make sure that we got all the hanging edges, we'll give it like another feel. All right, so let's get into it. We're gonna start off with the professional stone, the Naniwa. All right, so let's give it a little moisture there. So I had a fun sharpening session today, getting ready for shooting for you guys. We got a lot of stuff going on on the show. I don't know if you guys had a chance to check out that uh, sharpening video I did called Sharpening on Ryu. That was just me sharpening my favorite knife. I'll put a link in the description above. So remember, this knife was sharpened only on the 1K. A burr was reached on each side. And then we left it. All right. Thirsty, huh? I would say that, you know, since these are, these are splash and go, both of them are splash and go. All right, so we, we splashed and we're going. So it took a couple of sprays of water, but now it seems like it's, it's got it going. Now remember, the 5K really isn't going to sharpen the knife. It's polishing the eggs. I will, you know, say that it just dried out a little bit right there. Just things that we're noticing. Try to use the whole stone so we don't dish. It's giving me just like that micro burr, which is nice, which means it's not going to like eat up the metal and ruin the knife faster. The knife will have a longer life. At 5K, you really shouldn't be expecting some type of massive burr on the knife. I think sometimes I am chasing a burr out of 5k as if it's supposed to cut now i will say going into it right now i already know that shapton whenever they rate their products i swear they they rate them under like they rate them over i mean like the 5k it might be 4k all of them you were saying i just i in general i think shapton 
I think a Shapton 2000 is like a Shapton 1500. I think the Shapton 1000 is like a Shapton 800. Because both stones are gray, it's hard to tell if it's loading up. So let's go ahead real quick and get, there might've been a little bit of load up to prevent it from cutting. What did you just use, honey? So that is a Nagura. You might have saw a video that we shot last week, the lapping uh, plates and Naguras. That is a way for us to clean the stone, to get the load up off the stone. I haven't told you guys yet any feedback about this stone. It's glassy. There's like a, a little bit of grit. Um, I'm also fighting dipping my fingers in the water below. The water is dirty from other grits today. I'm trying not to put dirty water onto the stone, so I'm using fresh water. For those of you who are new to sharpening, that's like an, that's a thing. Okay, so I've been doing edge trailing strokes. I'm doing edge leading that I'm, I'm pushing the edge into the stone. Because this knife is harder, it has a hardness of 61 or higher. I'm actually putting the angle at the same sharpening angle. If this is going to sound ridiculous when I'm saying it, if a person could actually do 0.1 degrees sure. less <laughs> than the sharpening angle for this type of steel, that would be your goal. And you would not want to do edge leading strokes above 8,000 because it's considered that you are putting too much stress on the edge above an 8K grit. All right. So, I'm, the pressure was a little heavy handed earlier. Now I'm just finishing up kind of light. I'm using the stone to, rebur to remove any burr any loose metal that's on the edge. All right. So I have a beautiful white towel that I get to mess up. Okay. So that is the Naniwa Professional. And we're going to slide on over here. Let's get into it. Okay. It sounds different already. It sounds different. It sounds glassier. Um, water was already on it from spraying it earlier, so it obviously wasn't too thirsty. But yet it almost seems like it's cutting faster. But again, that would make sense if the rating was off. If it but was it, like... It, it sounds... Sounds like it would be not as grainy, but yet the slurry... But it's not glassy. Says like it's cutting. It has a glassy sound. Doesn't sound quite as gritty to me. Mm. It, it did to me at first, but not now. Faster. It was faster, which would typically happen if your grit is a little lower right. than your rating. Not a bad thing. So let's talk about like what that could mean. If the grit on this was say actually a 4K, but rated 5K by the company, it would have like a slightly rougher edge, right? The polish would be different. So what will that surmise as far as like cutting? Will it feel toothy on the paper? 
It might be better on the paper towel. So we are starting to see some load up on the stone. See, now it sounds different. The other one never sounded like that to me. But so that goes back to the, is it actually a lower? Right, she's saying like if it has a grainier sound, it would have a grainier sound if the grit rating was lower. And I can tell that the load is loading up. Like it's, it's getting to where it doesn't cut as rapidly. Will that be faster? Affected? You can, I mean, you can see it. Right, but will that be affected because you put it in the that water? I it, I put that in that water. I'm not planning on using it again. Okay. But I'm not putting that water on here. I've only done it that one time. We got edge leading strokes. Now at first, I mean, I have a little more pressure pushing in, but I'm, I'm super lightweight now. The knife, just the gravity of the knife is what's on the stone. All right, we're gonna find out in just a second who's the champion of 5K between Naniwa Professional and the Shapton Kuramaku. I'm doing enough passes to make sure it had a chance to work. Let's clean it, let's make a towel dirty. Okay. All right, so this is pre, like if you only bought this stone, didn't have leather, edge leading strokes, let's just see what we were able to do. Okay, so I still have the Shapton Kuramaku in my hand. We can go on the strop in a second, but let's just see. So it had a certain loudness to it. It did a great cut. It did a fantastic cut. Okay? Okay. Well, let's stay on paper. Yep. But we'll definitely give it the uh, this drop. I mean, I think that's quieter. It's quieter. Mm. That one had a little bit more like loudness to it. Mm. Mm. What? Mm. That one sounded better? You can't talk. You got a microphone. I'm just saying, I'm not convinced, man. I don't know that it sounds so, that, that so, different. So, so other far, than the very first cut. So, so far, my wife. We're, 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 not, that, we're, we're, we're kind of like, we're kind of like out of time. We're not, okay. I'm not Mr. Never Dull Moment. I don't have that kind of knowledge, but. Nope, but we're, we gotta, we gotta teach her how to sharpen so that she can like actually feel it and be like, you know what? All right, so let's do this. We got this drop, okay? Count them out, sir. So. Let's count them to make them even. One, one, two, Two, three. What's on your strap, sir? Three, nothing. Okay. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Nine, nine, ten, ten. One, one, two, two, three, 
two. This is the boring part, right? Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. All right, so everybody got a chance to have that clean edge. Do we go to paper towels or do we go back to paper? I think you have to go back to paper first. Just because. Shapton. Okay, ready. It doesn't sound any better. Actually, it yeah. sounds worse. Well, it doesn't sound any better. Random. But I'm saying I kind of felt that before, you know? It's much smoother. I mean, I'm just saying I, I felt that before, like. But I couldn't hear that. I mean, that's noticeably smoother than what it was previously. Well, making sure it's not. I mean, the push. I mean, yeah, it can do it. It's just louder. It is it's louder. All right, so let's go paper towels. Okay. No problem there. No problem there. Interesting. Should I dare you no, to use the same thing? Why? Why? Well, oh, it's why not, not fair, man. Why not? Is that fair? I think that was louder on that. Okay, that makes sense. I don't care that it's louder. I care that it doesn't. It wrong. Get a whole new paper towel. Yeah. Huh? Let me try to get you a paper towel, babe. There we go. We cut the whole thing there. No, you're good. Give me, give me one. Sorry if the camera moves, it's guys. my paper towel technique. I will say to you, for you who are watching, like it's hard, right? Because the paper towel, you can have it curved towards you. You have it curved away from you. Like, you know, what's your, your style? And see how it collapses, so then it's like it's not even fair to the knife. That's a clean cut. Okay. I think there I think we need a class on how to cut stuff. <laughs> yep. Like it did better on paper, it did better on paper, paper towel. Tap. Yeah, that's a weird that's a so would that depend on what you, you were know, trying to cut? Bringing out the vegetables. Bring, I got the cutting board ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, folks, well. My wife's gonna walk in front of the camera, folks. So I'm gonna attempt to hold this one. Woo, sorry guys. Hey, what's up, look at me. Hey. Don't step on stuff. Trying not to. Trying to keep it on you. <laughs> well, you're gonna drop the four blueberries, mom. <laughs> Way more important not to look at me with the camera. People can see me. They don't care that you walk in front of the camera. They do not care. Okay, it's like, let's not try to be perfect production. Let's try to be perfect knife stuff. But it's me. Okay, folks. I'm a blueberry guy. Blueberry problem. All right, which one do you have in your hand, Shapton? This is the Shapton Kuramaku. Okay. Got a bite, but a little difficult. You can see the skin, it's not biting. Mm -mm. All right. Okay. Right. Moving on. Let's go ahead and wipe it down. <clears throat> I 
I'll attempt the same blueberry even though it's technically not fair. Let's just try. Everything gets a first cut, then it doesn't. Give it a fresh one. Giving it a fresh one. Thanks. In all fairness to the blueberries. And the viewers. The suspense. Oh, that's a no <laughs> baby no that's a no no okay i call it okay so neither one of these after the 5k and leather are blueberry sharp i mean they they each got one nice cut they got each it. got one nice cut baby it's done yep okay seriously so let's do some math honey oh boy it's late, okay. We got five millimeters thicker, Yeah. $23 more. Is it worth it? Uh, it was worth it if you're cutting magazines, but not if you're cutting paper towel. Yeah, when, you, when I was cutting the paper, this one won. When I was cutting paper towel, they were about even. And I was leaning towards that. $23 difference. I don't know. I gotta say no. I gotta. I, I gotta go. I gotta say save twenty three. For Chapton, Chapton's the winner. You guys will comment. Pick your own winner. I know people in the comments will say money doesn't matter to me. Who won? It's, it's just that like if I had to. Say, if you wanted to know like who barely outperformed. I mean we're talking. Psh, I'm gonna go not at all. However, $23. And how much longer were you on that stone? That's true. I was on the stone longer. Yes, you were. To get more of a 6K. You know what I mean? If I'm this is, saying. I mean, if that's a 5K and this is like a little bit less than a 5K, it's going to have a little more bite, which is why the paper would sound the way it is, but why I cut, did the paper tile. Didn't do the blueberry. They both got a, a slice off the blueberry. Both got a slice off the blueberry. Both were opposite on the other. $23 difference. Chapton's the winner. I got to do it. I mean, is five millimeters more stone worth $23? Um, if you were to take 20 millimeters, divide that by four, and then say the difference of the price, is, is it $23? No. For the, I mean, it, $23 is half the price of this thing right here, man. I mean, you can just buy another one. <laughs> this week, I got to go Chapton. I got to go Chapton. If we're going on performance, the win. If we're going on just a performance, edging out, just barely performance, we got the Naniwa. But if we're going on just overall champion, best in class, best in one, whatever, Shapton's the overall winner. That's just All the way right. it is. I'm determining that Shapton is the overall winner. <laughs> you guys definitely leave your comments below. Let me get some feedback. Oh. Whew, these are getting tough, man. These are weird. Sometimes they're, These yeah. are weird. Yeah. These are weird. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean... But that's why they're both the people's champions. Yeah. All right. So listen, that was another crazy episode of Whetstone Wars. Um, super excited to bring you some more sharpening video. We are shooting tonight right after this something amazing. So stay back and come back and support us because this next one is going to be awesome. We appreciate you guys Friday nights at 8 o'clock. Sometimes we throw you a little, little nugget in the middle of the week. We love you. God bless.